My name is Dylan, and welcome to the penultimate chapter of the Barron's AP Economics book, Chapter 20. I'll be covering what you need to know for the AP test. In this chapter, you will only need to know three topics. The determinants of economic growth, resource availability, and productivity. So economic growth is defined as a positive change in real GDP. However, in order for the economy to grow, there has to be a change in the availability of resources or technolo technological slash productivity increase. When one of the determinants of economic growth changes, the economy expands and is able to produce more goods than it used to. This is represented by an outward shift of a country's PPF, or a rightward shift of a country's long-run aggregate supply, which represents potential output. These two graphs show what happens when there's economic growth in a country. The left, left graph right here shows the initial PPF, the inside A. When the economy expands, the curve moves outward to a point previously, previously impossible, point B, showing that the economy can now produce more goods. Similarly, the graph on the right sh um, shows the amount of output possible at full, at full appointment initially, represented by quantity 1 and long-run aggregate supply 1. However, when the economy expands, the long-run aggregate supply shifts right, and the new potential output is shown by quantity 2. Now, resource availability will affect economic growth, as I said previously. Now, more resources being available will increase economic growth, or as a decrease in resource availability will decrease economic growth. Now, resources are broke up, broken up into three different types, each of, which, each of which will affect the total resource availability. The first, the amount of land resources is determined by how much of it is accessible and usable. If there's a new oil deposit found, that will increase resource availability, but if, say, a piece of farmland is used and depleted, that will decrease resource availability. Changes in labor availability is primarily affected by birth rates and education. Higher birth rates will equal more labor, and lower birth rates will result in less amount of labor. Education will also increase labor availability. Capital availability is primarily dependent on the amount of capital being purchased and bought. Low interest rates and tax breaks will encourage spending on capital, which will increase capital availability, but higher interest rates and high taxes will discourage capital spending. Lastly, productivity will affect economic growth. Overall productivity is determined by how skilled the workforce is and how much capital is available, as well as how good the technology is. Better technology will increase productivity, and having more capital available will also increase productivity. Educating and training the workforce will allow for more skilled work workers, which will increase productivity as well. And these changes will all lead to an increase in economic growth. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something from this video.